She's called Philomena. And there it is, Philomena. And she usually comes back when her name's spelt correctly. She lives on a farm with Grandpa and Grandma and lots of other animals. Oh, and Boniface. Now, Boniface is an older, more knowledgeable cat. Knows absolutely everything, which is just as well, because Philomena doesn't know very much. Well, she's very young, you see, and she's learning all the time. And every day is an adventure for her. In fact, there are so many stories about her. She's back. Now, this story began with a particularly delicious smell. The smell was coming from the cooking pot, bubbling on the stove. And the smell tickled the end of Boniface's nose. Mmm, breakfast. Oh, breakfast already? Oh, seems I only just went to bed. That's funny. I don't feel hungry. Wonder why. You are. A big bowl of milk for you. I expect you're hungry, Bonnie Face. Never mind the cat, dear. <laughs> what about the workers? Mmm, smell was good. <laughs> Tastes good, too. Especially when you're hungry. We're hungry. Oh, delicious milk. Mm -hmm. Everyone's hungry except me, Boniface. What makes you want to eat? What a question. Oh, silly kitten. <laughs> Simple. Mm. Work, my dear Philomena. Hard work. Work works up an appetite. Oh. And my appetite is very worked up at the moment. Well, I'm ready for another day's work. We all have to work, my dear. Face, what work do you do during the day? <laughs> Not a lot. Oh, there's so much to do each day. That cat didn't do a stroke of work. Like what? Oh, uh, look, come outside and I'll demonstrate. Now, pay attention. Uh, up here on this bench is my lookout from where I look out. I pretend to be asleep, like so. But actually, I'm hard at work, like everyone on the farm. You'll see. Working? Well, that doesn't look a lot like work. I'd like to do that. Oh, stop that caterwauling at once. You're interrupting my sleep, Ella, but my work. Sorry, Bonnie Face. I'll go somewhere else, of course. The hen house. What work do the hens do? working either, just snoozing in peculiar-looking baskets. Go away! No easy parker! No easy parker! 
what do you want to do? Out of our house, Bob, Bob. Don't come back. Bob, Bob. <laughs> I made short work of her. Phew. What are the bees doing? Body. I just wonder what work. You, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, doesn't matter really. Oh, look at that cow lying down to eat. Why, that's lazy. Lazy. is working. No one. No one. The birds are just flying and the hens snoozing and, and the bees are smelling the flowers and the cows lazily chewing. Oh, tut tut. I'd better come and see. Come along. Ah, there you have it. The birds are building a nest. See? Come along. Now, here come the hens. Just as I thought, they were hatching out their chicks. Right there. Follow me. I wonder, yes. Naturally, the bees were making their honey. Mmm, delicious. Oops. And how about the cow? Well... Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, good, good. But before, she was just lying down, chewing. Ruminating, you mean. A cow ruminates and turns grass into creamy milk. Mmm. Well done, Clover. A whole bucket full. Thank you very much. So now you know, Wilhelmina, there are all sorts of ways of working. And remember, hard work works up an appetite. Oh, I'm really hungry. Of course. Learning and teaching are hard work. We both deserve some extra milk. Ooh. Now we'll have to wait, Boniface. Yes, and waiting is the hardest work of all. <laughs> 